origin includes different kinds of tools to perform data reduction. In this tutorial, I will show you multiple options to reduce data in different circumstances. Please note that some of the functions are available in Origin Pro only. First, I will show you how to simply delete all even rows. Click on Worksheet, Reduce Rows. To keep all of the odd rows, we need to start from row 2 and delete 1 for every 2 rows. Be sure that the reduce method is set to delete n rows, then skip m rows. Delete rows is set to 1. Skip rows is set to 1. And change the starting row to delete to 2. And click OK to delete the rows. In the script window, you can see how many rows were deleted. In the worksheet, we can see that only odd rows remain. Next, we will use the same X function to delete masked rows. This function can also be used to delete rows that contain missing values. First, I'm going to mask a few points in the worksheet. I control click to select multiple points and then right click and select mask. Now open the reduce rows tool again. Click on worksheet, reduce rows. Set delete rows with mask values as the reduce method. Then click OK to delete the masked rows. In this next example, there are duplicate X data for different Y values. I will reduce the duplication by using the mean of Y for each X. Highlight column B and select Analysis, Data Manipulation, Reduce Duplicate Data. Let's see the preview. The default for replace Y is mean, but if we change this to min, we can see that the data is changed. The same happens if we change it to max. Let's set this back to mean and click OK. Two columns were added with no duplicate X values. The following data reduction functions are available in Origin Pro only. This time we will reduce data by grouping. For example, there are 12 months of data for each year in this worksheet. I will output the average sunspot number for every year. Highlight column C and select Analysis, Data Manipulation, Reduce by Group. Then set the subgroup method to by every n points. Uncheck the auto checkbox, then set it to 12. This means there are 12 points for each group. By default, Origin outputs the average value for each group. Click OK. Now there is only one value for each year. Next, we will reduce data to make the X values evenly spaced. The raw X data has some fluctuation. Highlight column B and select Analysis, Data Manipulation, Reduce to Evenly Spaced X. This function reduces data points by some grouping methods. In this case, I will select by sampling interval. Uncheck all of the auto check boxes. Set the interval to 0.2 and set X from 0 to 100. Then set the output to new 
to output the results of new XY columns. Then click OK. The function will bin Y to evenly spaced X and output the mean of Y in each bin. If I scroll down, you can see the data has been reduced. Decimation merges every n sample into one according to the resample factor you specify. Highlight column B and click on Analysis, Signal Processing, Decimation. Let's turn on the auto preview again. Select Moving Average Filter as the filter type to reduce data by its moving average. Change the resample factor to 5 and see the results in the preview. Change it to 10 and see the results change again. Change to 15 and it changes one more time. At the same time, the number of result rows will be shown in the new size node so we can see how many points will be output. Click OK to generate the results. Again, if I scroll down, you can see that the data was reduced. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.